How's it going? My name's Brian and I'm here to show you a little bit about the BP200. Now if you know anything about the BP80 or saw one of the older videos that I may have put out on it, then you know exactly how this thing works with the exception of a few extras on the back of the machine. But if you don't, we'll go ahead and take a quick one, run through once again. Just like the BP80, the BP200 has different presets in it, different kind of effects presets for just about anything you want. It has smooth, clean, solo effects. I mean, pretty much anything you could think of to play with. Also, along with those effects, you can sit there and individually tweak each one of them to your liking. Um, uh, also, it has the drum machine and the storing capability, just like the PP80, as well as the wah pedal. Like I said, nothing has changed there. And once again, just like the BP-80, if there's anything that you don't understand that I don't disclose to you, just don't forget to go to digitech.com and look up the pedal. They'll have everything you need right there, including the operations manual. Now if you look at the back of the machine, the difference between this one and the BP-80 isn't much except for the fact that you actually have a headphones output, output and a jam along feature which allows you to plug your uh, MP3 player in and play along with your MP3 player as well while using your headphones which makes it great for practice especially if you live in an apartment or anything like that. The unit itself, if you purchase it brand new, it's probably going to run you about 200 bucks. Uh, once again, this one has the drum machine. I mean, it's if that's your thing, you know, kind of like a metronome there. But other than that, like I said, it's a, it's a simple machine to use. You can go out. I have wireless systems I use it with. It's absolutely fully functional, just basic input-output. So. run through a couple of the effects. This is one of the effects called smooth, just showing off the cleaner side of the pedal. Once again, that one was smooth. Now like I said, each one of these you can go through and play with and customize and make what you wish. Then you have your totally weird stuff. I haven't found anything for it yet, but if ambiance is your thing. The strings is always creepy. And as you go on, if you're the rhythm bassist, or if you're a lead bassist, depending on what you play, you might also like to come in and play with the solo effect, which gives it kind of a guitar grunge. Once again, your wall, of course, is your volume control. But if you have any other questions or comments, just feel free to leave something at the bottom of the video here in the comments section and I'll try to reply to it as the best I can. I'm not a pro on the issue, but this is just some basic information. Hopefully it will help you like it did me.